Welcome to Doctored Images MD, the first site of its kind built specifically to allow medical field students to find, create, and share image based mnemonic devices all for free. Our community spans from allopathic to osteopathic, nursing to physician's assistant, physical to occupational therapy, EMT to military medic, and much more. In the age of social media, we have the opportunity to fight overwhelming cost of educational material, but only if we work together. So check out our site, start with this short video. It's going to teach you about Porphyria cutanea tarda and rediscover your love for learning. While Porphyria cutanea tarda doesn't typically go by the acronym PCT, I will use it here to simplify the situation. Now, tales of the vampire have spread throughout history, many of which lead back to PCT. We'll use that tale here. For Porphyria cutanea tarda, we have poor cute Timmy, the vampire. Now, let's get started with Timmy. He's obviously adorable, and as the patchwork clothing tells you, he's also poor. So poor cute Timmy for PCT stands for Porphyria cutanea tarda. Now Timmy has PCT, the most common porphyria, or disease of heme synthesis that causes the buildup of heme precursors. As the most common of the porphyrias, PCT is the single most important porphyria to know. We have another video about the second most common porphyria, acute intermittent porphyria, starring a cute and poor werewolf, a creature that is intermittently man or beast. Be sure to check that out too. But now, back to Timmy. PCT causes photosensitivity, which occurs due to ROS production when light hits the skin. Let's add the sun. And since we know that vampires dry out and die in the sun, let's have Timmy attempting to guard himself from that sun. You'll notice any areas that Timmy can't cover and leaves uncovered will blister. This happens most notably on the nose, the ears, and the backs of the hands. Since this occurs periodically, it can cause scarring. Hypertrichosis, which is excess hair growth, and hyperpigmentation may also be seen. You would also rarely see the sharpened teeth with similar pathology. Now let's talk about the accumulated substrate of PCT, uroporphyrin being the main one. This can be found in the plasma or feces, but is most commonly found and tested for in the urine, leading to tea-colored urine. So PCT causes tea-colored urine, represented here by the teacup in the urine. This urine also reacts and fluoresces to a wood lamp, a UV or black light style dermatological lamp that will cause an unusual compound in the urine to show a coral pink color, which we see here. We put a piece of wood next to the lamp to help drive this point home. Now let's add this dead Frenchman. He's French and thus a European. He is poor, hence the patchwork clothing, and he was cold, so he started a fire. Now here he is dead, next to this trash can fire. Poor cute Timmy clearly has snacked on him, and the European's death represents the enzyme that's broken in PCT, Euro for European, poor, patchwork clothing, and fire, the trash can next to him, Euro, poor, fire, inogen decarboxylase. But this disease doesn't always cause blistering and burning in patients to the same extent. There are some precipitating factors that can either increase the likelihood or enhance the severity of blistering with light exposure. These include cigarette smoke, hence our European died while smoking, alcohol, this triple X bottle, iron overdose, which can increase the heme precursor buildup, hence this iron, there's also estrogen and pregnancy, hence the birth control seen here. HIV and hep C, hence the needle, the common share of these diseases. And generalized liver disease, hence the needle covering the liver, as hep C causes liver damage, but we also include cirrhosis, hepatic tumors, and more. Now the treatment is mostly avoidant, but phlebotomy can help. Just as you imagine the vampire telling their victim, you don't need all that blood, You'll feel better if I take a little from you. You'll notice removal of blood can decrease the severity or the symptoms. Lastly, it's an autosomal dominant disease, hence this small sign that says, buy stuff. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you thought it was stupid, do this. Test yourself. Read about another disease the old-fashioned way. Then one week from now, after reviewing neither of these two diseases again, or one month from now, see what you remember about that disease versus what you remember about Porphyria cutanea tarda and poor cute Timmy the vampire. Research shows up to a 300% increase in the long lasting recall with this method. I'm Sebastian with Docker Images MD. Check out our site, tell your friends, and upload your own images and videos. No matter what kind of artist you are, together we can learn more. Have a productive day.